This is how you can make a histogram using Google Sheets. Suppose you have a spreadsheet with uh, a column of data, like I've got here in column A. Um, you can go to Insert and Chart right here, or over on the right side, we have a, an icon for charts. And then if you hadn't selected your data beforehand, then you can select it over here in the Options window. But first, the chart type. You do not, you do not want column chart. Click over here. You don't want line charts or area, none of that. So just scroll down and you'll see it towards the bottom. It says histogram right here. Make sure you, you select histogram chart. Anything else will give you uh, something wrong. Now, data range, you can type it in yourself or just click the little data range selector and, uh, and then select the data with your mouse and then the computer will automatically uh, enter in the, the cell addresses for you. Um, if you have a lot of data, it's actually quicker to go control shift down arrow and you select the whole column all at once. Um, click OK. All right, let's scroll back up here. Let, let's see how it looks. All right, so here, here is the histogram right here. Now you can change the, the bin ranges, for example, here, uh, Google automatically selects the bin ranges. They're not terribly nice looking. So let's go over here back to our chart editor. Um, click customize. Click histogram. And then um, it says bucket size. They call them buckets. It's kind of a strange thing to say. But you, you can select. Like let's say you want, we want to group by tens. So tens. And then you see it's a much, much nicer bin range. 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, and so forth. Um, you can also change the, uh, the, the title and, and the axes, label the axes and so on using these other, uh, other options right here. But the bucket size is probably the, the most useful out of all of the options. And, um, and that's, that's about it. Thanks for watching.